Hey everybody, welcome back to day two of our awesome sailboat drawing. Um, I do have one really important thing to talk about with coloring, um, and that's gonna be talking about the water. Now, when you color water, whether you're coloring it with markers, colored pencils, or crayons, it is really important that you color from left to right or side to side. We want our water to look like it's flowing across our paper. If you color with your marker and you color up and down like this, it's going to make the water look like it is falling, like it would in a waterfall or in a shower. We don't want it to look like that when we're on the ocean or a lake. We want the water to look like it's flowing across. So as we're doing our markers for this, it's really important to always make those lines go side to side. We've talked about those directional lines before, but this one, it's really specific to what we're actually coloring. We are going to start out the same way we always have. We're going to start with our outline. And this outline is going to take a little bit of time because we have a lot of stuff to outline before we can start to fill in. But you'll see how quickly the filling in goes once you outline. I do have a piece of scrap paper here to catch my marker. If you are working on a nice surface, you might want to make sure that you have a table guard um, underneath your paper. So any sheet of paper can be your table guard, just like we use in class. But I'm going to go ahead and start to create that outline. And you can make your water whatever color you want. I'm using this kind of seafoam green uh, for mine. So I am going all the way around my sailboat. Remember right up to that black line without going over it. I'm gonna go across my horizon line to the other side of my paper. Now, it seems like maybe I'm done at this point, but I don't want these two boats to be green either. So I have to make sure I go around them as well. So I'm gonna start at the top of this sailboat and go all the way around the sailboat. I'm gonna go across the bottom of the sailboat. Around the top, back up to where I started. So now that sailboat is protected. Oh, you know what? I forgot one area. Inside between the pole and the um, sails. I need to outline inside of there as well. You might find when you do this outline that it fills it in completely and that's okay. Okay. And last sailboat. Again, the outlining definitely takes the longest, but it makes everything else go really fast. And then I need to come up here and in or below the horizon line, I'm gonna make this water above the horizon line. That's gonna be sky later. Okay, I've got everything outlined. Now I'm ready to start filling it in. Since my line's connected right here, this is where I'm gonna start. I'm actually gonna turn my paper sideways. So I'm gonna go this way first. And I'm just gonna start making those lines going across. And if you want it to look even more like water, you can add a little bit of a wave to those lines because they're gonna show up. So we can kind of use the fact that they show up to help us out and we can make them just a little bit wavy. Don't go crazy though. You don't wanna do big spirals. Just a little bit of wave in that marker line will create the effect. And I did those texture lines with a black marker, so they're showing up. If you did them in a different color, you can always go back over the, or in pencil, you can always go back over them with like a blue or a color that matches your picture to make them show back up. So it's not a big deal if your marker kind of covers them, you can just go back over them. But again, always side to side, you can add those waves. I'm using the marker to help me create the effect that this is water. And I'm making sure my lines go side to side so that it doesn't look like the water is falling. Even when I get inside of here, I wanna start next to the boat and come all the way across. Okay, this one's gonna go the full distance from the other side of my paper all the way to this side. So I'm gonna start over here and make that line really big. I 
with that table guard to catch the marker as it goes off the edge. And there it is. I like to flip my paper around to get to the other side and keep going. This time I'm working up, but I'm still going, my lines are still going from side to side across. Okay, Whew. I got all my lines filled in, my water. And you can see the marker lines actually look wavy like water would. So it's really important. Again, we're going side to side on those waters. Now, everything else you're going to be filling in just like we normally do. You're going to outline the shape and fill it in. The direction doesn't matter as much with everything else. But for water, you really do need to pay attention to that. So from this point on, you're going to finish coloring your picture. Have fun with it. I cannot wait to see what yours looks like when it's done. Don't forget to submit it on Canvas. All right. I'll see you really later. Bye.